and on both sides. The shear was masukan, there's no shell of tikkun mana, so we were able to have the sikkim to the shear. Just, just let review what we learned here, Bez Hashem. There's def, definitely molacha the raisa of tikkun mana, which is part of the general issa of makavapatish. But as we saw today, that's really going on a physical and a actual uh, change, like a, you're making a soda cap or making a talis. But regarding the issa of Tfilas Kalim, which is similar to, 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 to Tumas Kalim, the Gemara calls that Nerika Masakin. It's not the actual real Tikkun. It's not a Tikkun Deraisa. It's a Nerika Masakin. And that's why we, we saw certain Heterim. That they, they, even though Lamaisa, some hold that you'll add a table on Shabbos or Yom Tiv, but the Ramon and even the Mechaba is Chayish for the day, that that's also part of Tikkun Keli, of Nerika Masakin. So basically, Bein Hashmoshes, if you remember, then it's still Bein Hashmoshes, quickly go toivlet with a bracha, if it's Tzarech of Shabbos, of course. If, the, if it's, once it's us, it's even us uh, to toivl glass, because even a Tikkun Drabonon is enough of an Issa. If you have a Suffolk, Mishtabur is Mekel to toivl even a Suffolk of metal, because it's not a real Tikkun, it's only a Suffolk. If it's already Shabbos and you can't rely on the Hetta Bein Hashmoshes, so the Shekhanar quotes ahead of giving it to a guy, make a Kenyan with the guy, and then you borrow his item, you'll have to use a The problem is after Shabbos, make sure you take it back, make a Kenyan on it, and you could you make a, then you could table it with the bracha, because you never tabled it, and now it's yours, and you have to table it with the bracha. <clears throat> if Lamaisa, it's a suffix, if Matanam Rasla Harza works in this context, as we saw, maybe you need a Kenyan Gomer, also, it's not clear. It seems like it doesn't, doesn't work to be mafkred and using it. It's not mentioned in the Paiskim. You'll have to have a guy table it for you. And if you're Oymar al-Gabav, the tefillah helps, but you lose the bracha. So that's not an eitzah l'chatchil al kaponim. The eitzah of tabling a bedera harama is muta because it's not nirik masakin. You look like you're just taking water or rinsing a di- dish. But it has to work. It has to be nira that you're taking water. Today's mikvah is you don't drink from it, you don't rinse in it. But the most serious problem, if you do harama, you can't make a bracha, according to the Bialocha and Magan Avram. So it's not the best eitzah. The best eitzah is either with a ben hashmashes or give it to a guy and use his item. After Shabbos, get a Kenyan gomer and toivel it with the bracha. Until you toivel it, we assume it's not mukta because either you have an eitzah or you had a mind, you're going to fix it. If you really have a real need and no other eights that works, the Chayodah meant you could rely on the base Yosef, Ramam and Rif, and toivel it on Shabbos. Yom Tev is like Shabbos, you don't toivel, unless it's E.F. Shemi Boi Joim, and if it's glass, Moirin came, if it's not glass, Halacha Ve'ein Moirin came. There's no Issa to keep a Kale Shaitavel in the house, that's only by Tumah, not by Kalem, of that weren't getoiveled. If even if there's no Issa of Bittal Issa, but there's an Issa of Bittal Issa on Shabbos, or Yom Tov, Ein Lecha Tikal God Lamizu, except as we showed, if Lamaisa, it's not Issa, just this wine of a guy in it, you'll have to rinse it out, like you'll have to clean our dishes. But if there's an Issa, we don't kasha on Shabbos or Yom Tov, because that's Nero Kemesakin. We said you'll have to, Erepesh, Chabot Shabbos, you'll have to, to kasha braces or dentures, because it's not yet Issa, so it's not a Tikal. Sterilizing an item is not a tikkun, but you have to be careful, it should make it glowingly red hot. That would be the issue of either Havar or Bishal. Mesakin wine pogam is not a real tikkun, it, it's just a hider in the Gabi Kaisal Bracha. Mezuzah that fell off, you let it put it back, means a tikkun. The only issue is it might be the issue of Moisal Abinyan. A shak and a mikveh is mutter to be made, and if you have chalas, you have bread that you didn't take off the chala on Shabbos. In Eretz Yisrael, you're stuck. In Chutz Laris, you're allowed to eat the challah and leave over a piece. I, I want to just mention, I mentioned that challah's Chutz Laris is, is just the Shleit Ishtakach. I, I, I said the wrong Maramokam. It's in Shin Chav Bey, Sif Gimel. But since it's only a mitzvah on the person, you're allowed to eat and be mafresh after Shabbos with the brach. Okay,